ever notice how things sometimes tend to go wrong at the very worst time? Or sometimes timing is just completely wrong? It's like everything is energy. And energy tends to be like positive and negative or opposite. So it's like you're putting energy into doing something and then all of a sudden some other opposite energy interferes and it kind of disrupts it. That's how I look at it. Well, for one thing, my laptop has been giving me, has been giving me quite a few problems lately. It's old. I've had it for about 10 years. And um, I haven't been able to go online much, especially today. Um, if I get this uploaded, it'll be a miracle. And then, you know, because it, it'll, it'll stay on for about 5 or 10 minutes and then it freezes up. And then I have to pull the battery out and turn, you know, to, have to turn it off. It won't turn off. It, it freezes. And, and then I put the battery back in and then I start it back up and then it might work for another 10 minutes or something and then it freezes up. It's been doing this all day today. And the day before it did it and then the day before that. And so I ordered one and it's not going to be here, unfortunately, um, probably until Friday or Saturday. So it's like I'm kind of stuck. And I really don't like being stuck. Um, I, I'm getting very... I just want to go somewhere. I don't know. I want to get away. Um, I can't really stay in one place very long. I mean, this is my home, and I, I do have a lot of things here I need to take care of. I have a lot of trees I planted, and I need to take care of all this stuff, but I mean, that's that doesn't mean I can't ever leave. Like, that doesn't mean I can't ever go away for a while. And then the other day, or actually last week, I almost had my studio. I, I mean, I was sure I had it rented. I have a little studio in the back, and somebody wanted to rent it, and um, he was pretty sure, and he was going to call me later, and he left and then he came back about 10 minutes later and he scared the shit out of me because he came walking up my, or he was, actually he came driving up, honking his horn at me and then he pulled it up into my driveway, he got out and he starts yelling at me and I'm thinking, what did I do wrong? I'm thinking, did I do something wrong? He's like yelling at me saying, you don't exist. You don't exist. And he kept saying it over and over, and I was really getting really scared. I'm thinking, oh, my God, what happened to make him yell at He was yelling at me, saying that I don't. And I'm like, I'm thinking, did I say something wrong? Did, am I, like, in trouble or something? I didn't discriminate or anything. He was just some guy. I said he could rent it. And I'm thinking maybe, I don't know, maybe there's some weird law here, and I'm getting in trouble or something because there's this other car. And I'm thinking, what if they're undercover cops? I don't, I don't know why. I mean, I, I don't like police and I don't like laws because you never know. I mean, maybe it's illegal to rent your room or something. I don't know. I'm thinking all kinds of weird stuff, like or maybe he's crazy and there was this other car. And, and I'm thinking, oh, my God, what, what did I do wrong? What, what happened? And, and he's, like, yelling at me. He kept saying it over and over and over, and he wouldn't stop saying it. You don't, he was yelling. You don't exist. You, and I'm standing there, and I'm like, what? What are you talking about? And he kept saying it over and over. And then finally he says, your neighbor here says, you don't exist. And then he starts saying other stuff like, your neighbor here is accusing me of casing uh, houses or something. And he's like, I just pulled over for a moment to let him by. And he starts accusing me of being a robber or something or burglary or something and I'm like this is crazy and then that the neighbor he was talking I don't know I didn't I never met him I just moved here I mean it's like I'm not gonna go up walking up people's private driveways that say you know private property and oh hi neighbor you know I'm not like that I'm not gonna do that um, I mean I'm sure this neighbor he was talking about must have known that I existed because it's obvious. I mean, the house was 
for sale and now it's not for sale. I mean, it's pretty obvious that I do exist. So, I don't know. I'm not going to get into all the reasons why this happened and I'm not going to try to figure it out. Um, I just know people are nuts. And it seems like I always tend to be right next to nuts. And even though I live way out here, and even though he's way down the road from me, like at least two acres away, you know, now I realize I have a, a nut for a neighbor because he's scaring away potential renters. And I really don't want to leave this place <clears throat> empty alone because I'm afraid that now, now that I got a neighbor that's, you know, acting all weird and scaring people away, I'm like, what, well, what if, I don't know, I mean, just the other day, somebody was, like, yelling um, for some some person, that I, don't, I never heard this name, and I'm thinking, that's crazy, because he's out there in front of my gate, some other guy, this is, I don't, this isn't like a neighbor, it's just some weird person, and I'm hoping he'd go, I was just hoping he'd go away, I never opened my door or anything, and then he opens my gate. He had the nerve to open my gate. It said, I have a sign that says no trespassing private property. And he opens my gate. And he walks up my driveway and he starts peeking in my windows. I'm like, I cannot believe this. I've got people walking up in my property and I'm thinking, oh my God, I'm not far away enough from these nuts. There's just too many nuts in this world. So finally I yelled, I never opened the door, I was scared, I just yelled, I said, get off my property, this is private property, I'm calling the police, and he's like, oh, okay, lady, I'm sorry, I just thought somebody else lived here, blah, blah, I just got out of jail, I'm like, oh my god, he's telling me he just got out of jail, and he's on my property, some strange person looking in my window, this is crazy, so what am I supposed to do, it's like, I can't, rent my studio because I got a nut for a neighbor who, who chases people away and tells them, you know, cu accuses them of being robbers. And then I got some other nuts coming around and yelling, you know, over the fence for somebody who doesn't live here. When, where does the insanity stop? Where? There's just so many fucking crazy people in this world. I can't stand it. I just can't get far enough away from people. It's just unbelievable what I go through. Why, why, it's like, I want to say why me, but I know it could be worse, okay? It could have been worse. I mean, it could have been a lot worse. I don't know. Maybe now, finally, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I get my room rented now, finally, that maybe this nut neighbor or whatever, maybe he realized, you know, that was the wrong thing to do. Because the guy told him, you know, I have a, there's a room for rent, a studio for rent here. So, I don't know, it, I just feel like I'm being spied upon too, because I noticed that nutty neighbor drives by a lot, like more than he should, actually. It's kind of scary. Because, you know, like, I'm here alone, and there's some guy watching my house, scaring people away. And another person that comes around yelling for somebody else's name that doesn't live here. I don't know. I don't know what to do. I just need to get away. But I can't leave my place alone. I have to have somebody here. But, um, this is not, I don't, I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't have bought this place. I don't know what to do. What do you think? What should I do? Any suggestions? Because this is crazy. Can you imagine? Take care.